What can you buy with 5,000? My name is Emily. I'm a founder of One World Real Estate Group. I help many people to grow their wealth with only 5,000 initial capital. I promise, what I'm going to share with you will change your life. You may be wondering, is this a good time to buy? With the current situation, COVID-19, political, not stable, many people wondering, can I still invest in property? Let me share with you how my client, my team and I, we started our property investment by only coming up with 5,000. I bought five units of Bajaya Times Square in year 2009. Between the next year, each unit I managed to make 100,000. Imagine, now we can turn the clock back to 2009. Will you buy? You probably still wondering whether this is the right time to buy because the market will be even getting worse. Nobody can predict what will happen in the future. The life still needs to go on. And now I would like to share with you what my client doing in the past one year. We managed to copy and duplicate the same concept that we did in 2009. And we managed to sell 300 units to a group of different, different investors. Now, let me share with you what do we do. This concept is not new anymore. We use it in 2009 and we managed to purchase many property. And last year, we copied the same method and we duplicated it by sharing with a group of people. We managed to hit 300 units with this method. Here with some, here with some calculation that what I did in the past. How this work? Let's see. Assuming we are getting some fire sales property at 800,000. The property owner willing to let go 25% below the market. The property price 800,000 with a rebate of 200,000. And the net price that we purchased is 75% below the market, so which is 600,000. So with this whole transaction, we are saving 200,000. Assuming you are not buying the property with cash, it is the loan of 90% equivalent to 720,000. And with this, 720,000 with the cost price that we paid 600,000 and you managed to get back, get back 120,000 cash back to pay the miscellaneous like the renovations, the installments for the next few years or the legal fees or even the MOT. If you want to know more, please do a comment below and I will share more with the checklist of how to buy a property with 5,000 capital. Alright, thank you so much for watching and once again, my name is Emily and I'm from One World Real Estate Group.